everyone, it's Kezi over here from Kezi's Corner and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be another unboxing of the Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box. If you don't know what this um, subscription consists of, it's basically they send you a couple of items, say I think five to six items which are all drugstore and you pay like every month as you know all subscriptions and um, I'm going to be leaving a link of the website down below so you can go check them out and go gather up all the information that you need if you would like to subscribe to this box I pay um, once every month I pay around $24 now sometimes I see it as worth it but then other times I don't know last month of November it was so like for me it didn't like cut it it didn't say okay I was worth the money but this month I really like what we got um, even though we didn't get a mascara yet again because I like receiving mascaras but we didn't get a mascara again this month so this month's box is right here I emptied all the stuff on my desk and the team of the month because every month they do a team and the December month's team was naughty or nice so yeah so as you know I uploaded my November box really really late so I hope that I can manage to edit this and upload this as soon as possible so we're going to start this month we got this eyeshadow palette and it is the day to night LA colors eyeshadow palette very small um, so this is a great palette I think for traveling um, I'm just gonna swatch some colors so we see how they swatch so I've got four shades over here and we're going to swatch. So one, two, three. Okay, so as you can see, they're not that pigmented. So I'm just gonna take a blending brush as always. That's how I always start my makeup. So I'm gonna start by taking this small nude shade right, right here and taking the sponge out. I'm gonna see what look I can create. I've already applied my foundation so and my powder and my concealer and I've already um, primed my eyelids and did my eyebrows so those are all ready. So I'm just applying that shade onto my crease. So now we're gonna take another color. I'm gonna do the eyelid like that so mm, what color are we gonna do? I'm going to take this um, dark brown one right here and I'm just going to apply that on the corner of my eye and then just like tap 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 like for now just I tap it and then slowly slowly I drag it inwards sort of creating like a smoky look Okay, I'm gonna use another brush. So I'm gonna get another blending brush and I'm just going to um, blend those two colors together. Okay. So now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm just gonna take this color because this is the color that intrigued me the most. It's sort of a rose pink shade and I think it's sort of shimmery. So I'm just going to place it on my eyelid. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm just going to take the blending brush and I'm just going to blend all the colors together. And now with like a smudgy brush, I don't know why, I'm going to take this color right here, which is sort of a nude, sparkly, bright color. And I'm just going to place it on the inner parts. Oh dear. Okay, so this color I think is the one that is not at all pigmented I barely can see the color okay so now I'm also gonna be a bit more adventurous and I'm gonna be placing that black as well in the corner of my eye and I'm just gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna tap 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 I'm just going to be placing a little bit I'm not gonna be placing a lot because I don't want a lot and then Taking the previous blending brush, I'm just gonna blend in the colors. So it's like I created a sort of smoky eye. Okay, 
So that's the eyes done. It's very difficult. <laughs> like I'm, <laughs> like I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I'm really bad at it today. Don't know why, but yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna try out something new, which I actually have never tried out before. And in the box, we received two eyeliners. So we received a Bella Pierre um, clear eyeliner base, and then a Bella Pierre noir eyeliner so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to apply the clear base first and then you apply the black one so we're gonna see how this is gonna work so can I, I think I can do it like this Okay, so we're going to try it out with the Noir Eyeliner. I'm a bit nervous. Okay, so in my opinion this works very well together okay I don't know what the aim of the clear eyeliner is but whatever it is it's good the eyeliner is quite good in my opinion it is so good okay I'm very impressed by it okay now moving on I think it's my these are two are my favorite products I have no idea if this helps or not but applying liquid eyeliner was so easy and um, also the tip of this is so nice and easy to use. So we also got these eyelashes and these are by Kazi, I don't know, something, this brand over here. And it says professional. So I have no idea how to say the name. I'm so sorry. And you know me with, <laughs> with fake eyelashes. Oh, should I try them? Okay, I'm gonna try them out. But I'm going to do it off camera because <laughs> Because it will take so long, I know it. Somehow, I managed to put them on. Um, consider yourselves very lucky because this rarely happens. I actually use the Ardell Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive that I had bought from Beauty Bay like last year. I never used it because I was too scared to apply eyelashes. Um, but I have to say that this played a big part. I had actually got this from eBay. It's like um, you can put your eyelashes on it and it was so easy to apply I noticed that with this eye it was much easier um, so yeah maybe maybe you're gonna see me apply more eyelashes on this channel <laughs> I've wasted so many eyelashes like I tried them and then I just throw them away okay so while I wait for that to dry up I'll just apply some mascara and um, later on I'm gonna apply this um, love struck blusher and bronzer and this one is by J Cast. And this one is in the shade Babe 110. So yeah, um, as you can see, I've already swatched it and like I messed up the cute cat that there was on it. So yeah, I'm just going to apply it with my Zoeva from eBay. Ooh, that's a lot. Blush brush, I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. Ooh, wow, that's pretty. Whoa. Okay, I really, really like this. But I've noticed that <laughs> where I tapped it, it's just gonna stay there. Okay, I'm just gonna try and just, you know, just do it. Okay, so I'm seeing that it's like really difficult to blend out on your skin, which is very bad. Oh my god, why did this stay over here? Okay, let me just try and continue blending it. Okay, so I really like this. Um, this product I mean it is a little bit difficult to blend out in my opinion or it's maybe because I don't know how to apply the product properly yeah I really like this product hmm. okay so this box is quite an impressive box okay so I'm just going to use my Maybelline lash sensational lash multiplying mascara and I was going to be applying that on my top lashes okay so I'm just going to apply some on my bottom lashes. So I really like how the um, eye look came, in my opinion. The lashes did help a lot with popping it out. Now for lips, this month we got, we didn't get highlighter. So I'm just going to be applying some highlighter because I want to, and I'm gonna be using my MUA Radiant Illumination Highlighting Kit. Um, 
and I'm just going to be mixing um, one and two together this just gives out a really um, natural highlighted look it's not going to be like vo -vo voom in your face but it's just something small I like to apply okay so now I'm also going to be using the um, the lip product that we got in this month and this one is by LA Girl and is their matte flat velvet finished lipsticks I actually have some lipsticks of theirs and um, so if you want to if you want me to do a lip swatch video of that um, sort of um, line of their flat matte line just let me know in the comments down below so I'm just going to be applying this this one is the shade runway I don't have this which was I was very lucky so I'm just going to apply it I really like using these lipsticks but the thing I find is that the darker the shades the patchier they are really like color it's it's a really nice color so this is the look I created in my opinion I think I like it I prefer this box to the November box by far I think this was worth the money I mean I know we only got six items but we actually managed to create this look all I used was a highlight mascara a, and then the, the for the face, you know, foundation, powder, primer, concealer, and eyebrows. But the rest is all from the box, so I think that that is great. My favorite products by far have to be the lashes, number one, because they were so easy to apply, and then these liquid eyeliners, and then the blush. My least favorite has to be the eyeshadow, I don't know. I still create a good look, but it was so <laughs> difficult to blend in the colors. Like, I don't think that they are very blendable but they are so nice but they're not blendable <laughs> and i hope you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and um, all my social media links ugh, all my social media links are listed down below as well as a link to my blog don't forget to follow me on my facebook page as well so yeah i think that's all i have to say um i'll see you all later and have a lovely day